Well, what, if anything, could have reduced the damage caused by the cargo ship Dolly slamming into Baltimore's 47 year old Francis Scott Key Bridge? Investigators say the bridge did have some kind of impact protection. And they're looking into it. CBS News has learned a majority of U.S. bridges do not. Correspondent Stephen Stock shows you how bridges, new and old, can be protected to lessen an impact. Accidents like this aren't new. A similar collision more than 40 years ago at the Sunshine Skyway Bridge over Tampa Bay killed 35 people. After that, codes changed, requiring increased protection for all bridges built after 1991. Those included structures called fenders and dolphins, which absorb impact, similar to your car's bumper. There are investments to be made. But as retired bridge engineer Andy Herman points out, meeting today's code would require retrofitting and upgrades to the key bridge that was built in the 70s. They would either harden the piers so they could take an impact or put a fender system of substantial configuration to deflect that vessel back into the navigable channel. Or they might do what they did at Sunshine Skyway, put an island in front of it. This national inventory tracks the condition of all bridges. It lists 4,200 of them that allow ships to go under the bridge. Of those, about a third are described as having functional pier protection, including the key bridge. But the inventory does not provide specifics about what that protection is or whether it could withstand impact like Tuesday's crash in Baltimore. I was shocked when I saw how that bridge was impacted by the best wild. Jim here. Salmon says Delaware is working to avoid that. The state is spending $95 million installing up to date protections on the Delaware Memorial Bridge. This application for the work shows the existing system is, quote, outdated and inadequate to protect the bridge from collisions with the larger and modern vessels. If a ship would happen to lose control or, or lose steering or whatever and, and uh, veer towards one of our tower structures, these new dolphin uh, cells will protect our tower structures. It's what I would call our insurance policy. Insurance to protect the bridge in Delaware in the rare case that a ship even larger than Dolly hauling up to 156,000 tons and moving at seven knots hits the piers. That's heavier and faster than Dolly's impact in Baltimore. I kind of wondered why there weren't fenders there. Structural engineer Matthew Robles believes had a fender system been installed around or in front of the piers, Tuesday's collision would have been less catastrophic. In this case, there are some people who they've actually been on the record. It says nothing could have prevented what happened. Your reaction to that? I think it's kind of fanciful to think that. That boat is like the Chrysler building turned on its side, heading at 40 miles an hour into a static object. So nothing probably would have prevented the collision, but it would have dissipated the kinetic energy. The question remains, more than four decades since that Tampa Bay Bridge collapse, will this week's disaster in Baltimore prompt the federal government to now require updated protections for older bridges? Stephen Stock, CBS News.